Hi and welcome to one of the EdaCap videos from the official EdaCap channel. And today, this video, uh, I want to show you um, an issue with the latest macOS system to build EdaCap from source. And I want to show you how to solve this. So the version that uh, this Mac is running is um, the Catalina and I have downloaded um, EdgeCap into this directory um, with git clone and installed all the dependencies as I have already shown in one of my previous videos where I showed how to build EdgeCap on macOS. So it's exactly the same procedure. So when you then create the build directory and change into it and then you try to configure it using CMake and build type, I always use build type debug, of course it's only for debugging purpose, and I always enable IPv6. Ah, yeah. On macOS, I need to define the OpenSSL root deer variable. Um, so, minus D equals and then boo prefix. to compile the source yeah and this is the issue that happens so it says it cannot link directly with Junlib framework your binary is not allowed client of the library user lib lib crypto do lib and it's not easy to get around this and I will show you how to do this so for that we change into the directory user lib and have a look at the um, at the files there no, this wasn't what I wanted I wanted user lib what is installed and uh, let's check what OpenSSL has installed on libraries. We grab this to for something lib. So and the file name that OpenSSL has provided is called libcrypto11.dlib. So this is um, the issue that OpenSSL was apparently not allowed to place the files in userlib where the linker is trying to link against and we have to do this manually so we are at the moment in userlib and now we try to let's say move away do a backup of lib, libssl so sudo move um, this one to dot back providing the password and even with pseudo writes we are not uh, permitted to move this file to something else. So this is an issue 
that um, they have quite put some work into hardening macOS um, to make it really tight that we cannot modify it in the way that it builds AdderCap correctly. For that we need to disable the security hardening me mechanism and for that we need to reboot macOS into the recovery partition. And I will show you this in a minute. Hi, so um, I'm still with um, the same status and we now need to reboot into the recovery permission uh, partition. And for that, uh, of course, we need to restart. And while it's restarting, we continue to press the Apple sign, the Apple key, um, and the key R, like this Apple and R. So all the time while we're rebooting. So I'm doing this now, and I hope that I can, yeah, pick the moment. Continuing pressing Apple R. Hopefully, sometime we get back into the recovery permission. So, this will take some time. Yeah, so now we are in the recovery mode and um, so we need to authenticate first. So, okay, choose continue. And I need to provide my password. Okay, and we don't choose any of these uh, choices here. What we are doing is we go to um, the like service programs and start the terminal. Okay, here we go. And in this terminal, we are saying CSR util disable. Okay, that was it. And then we just need to reboot again. Um, we will see us in a minute when macOS has restarted after this activity. So, back in macOS, um, we try now the same thing. So, we are still in uh, user lib and try to recall this command to rename the current SSL library file. password okay so now the the uh, error is a different one so rename is not possible because the file system is mounted read only um, let's have a look yeah. and um, so this is file system mounted on root and it's in read only mounted so we need to remount this in read write so we need to sudo mount remount in right mode uh, and of course the slash. Okay, so let's check. Now the read only option is not set anymore. We try again to move the file name. Uh, okay, so already. And we do the same with crypto, lib crypto. Have a look how this is um, now. The, uh, if the rename was successful. Okay, so we have only now a lib, doing lib back. 
here. Um, we copy now the library file from uh, that that came with OpenSSL into userlib, and then we will create a uh, symbolic link pointing to that. I'm not so used to Mac OS, so sorry for my stupid moving behavior. Okay, so we copy from here to here. Uh, of course, we have to provide pseudo rights. And the same with crypto. Uh, sorry, SSL. Okay, so let's have a look. So now we have the library from OpenSL in the directory SL crypto and now we create a symbolic link sudo ln dash s um, so we link this file and name the linked file libssl.dlib and the same for lib crypto Lib crypto dulip. Okay, that was this part. So I changed back to my home directory to dev adder cap build, and now we see if we can continue and finish the uh, compilation of uh, adder cap source. So type in make again. So it continues where it ended, so it was now able to link. So it continues building. Okay, these are only warnings. Um, I will I will check this later. But as long as it's not, not an error, it's not a big problem for now. Okay, it was able to build completely, so then I do make install. Here we go. And then see if we can start at a cap. Yes, ah, okay. Um, so this is normal, <laughs> normal, but um, here's something missing. It's the icon theme that is missing. How's it called? Right, uh, sorry, I have to look this up. I have I written and I wrote I write most articles for myself that I can remember. Okay, so apparently it's now working. Um, I don't know why the menu is not working up here. But um, this way you solve the problem that comes with a new macOS version that prevents you building EdgeCap from source. 
I showed you how to get around this and um, yeah I hope it ha this video helped you and um, yeah what as always watch out for new videos uh, have fun and take care and bye.